Hi, Miranda. <laughs> Hi, Hi, you're so beautiful. Hi. 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 Oh my Hi, God. Kay. Ooh. Could you, Danielle, just give us a little recitation of your pawpaws? Give it to us. Give us a little recitation. Uh, the world is not a fair place. I tell my son, I say, you can do everything right, everything they told you to do, and you still might not be lucky in this life. My daughter's headstrong. She doesn't listen. My son is softer. <laughs> ah, it's still in there! Oh, yeah. Woo! Kate, do do your your monologue. Do it, Kate. Just do my monologue. <laughs> yeah, do it. You have to do the beginning of it. It's cool because I do it every morning, so it's right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, where, where I come from? Where I come from? There's a it. really a really nice um. <laughs> I don't know if it's tradition. There's something about where the bride <laughs> doesn't see the groom. Uh, I have returned, and it begins. Yay! You recognize me? No. Gotta see. Oh shit! I'm watching Going Girls. <laughs> Well, I, I luckily know the whole play by heart, and I haven't cheated at all in the last <laughs> Whatever you want me to do, just, just give me a spot. Uh, I love my house. I love my neighborhood. The whole cul-de-sac has tons of charm, but the thing is, and I'm embarrassed to even admit this, ah, line. How was it? Does it, does it retain the Very original? Very impressive. Yeah. Oh, since the day we moved in, I've barely touched the yard. I'm just hopeless outdoors. When you look up brown thumb in the dictionary, there's a picture of my face. <laughs> and then you do like a take. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> I feel like if I had the first few words, I remember, I'm like, I can't believe it, I can't remember anything but bees. All I can think is bees. Look, look at this bee guy here. <laughs> yeah, look, look at this bee guy here. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't remember anything. I have a terrible <laughs> memory. I have a terrible memory. <laughs> Not really an actor. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm just so in the moment, you know. Yeah. I'm like yeah. creating it on the spot. I know. You're not like some frauds, but... <laughs> Madeline, maybe you could do like a Patrick Stewart Christmas Carol one-person version of the yeah, show. That, that oh good. my god. Yes. Well, let's see how much you remember, Madeline. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy being read, too. <laughs> and I'm also a big fan of sound effects, so I hear you. Danielle, I'll call you and I'll just make wind sounds anytime uh, you, you want. You can do a conference call and I'll do all the like, you know, outdoor sounds as well. I'm I'll do like Foley, just like shoes, clap, clap, I used clap, to do clap, radio clap. before the world was ready for a face like mine. I'd like to well, hear some right now. <laughs> it's true in the offer? 90s. Just give me, just give me a little something now. Let's hear it. Kate? Me? Yeah. Mm. Give me a little Foley. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, well, let's yeah. see. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> Are we being bo bombed by Nazis? I'm sorry, I'm confused. Right <laughs> I usually drink on Fridays, so this is so exciting. Fridays, is like, <laughs> I've never have a drink on a Tuesday during this. Is today it's not Friday. Day. Tuesday's the new Friday. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was Wednesday. Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. No one knows, Miranda. Madeline, I think you could write a killer scene for the, the cul-de-sac ladies doing a Zoom call. I'm just saying, like, that's a scene that could really work. That's, that sounds true. and. But you also could write it, Kate. But I don't want to. <laughs> How would the cul-de-sac ladies deal with uh, deal with quarantine? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it's like it's like Carol's dream come true. <laughs> I don't want to. This is like the worst Meisner technique of how I'd get inside. <laughs> <laughs> 
How would I get into each house? <laughs> yeah, let's please, can you please write uh, a scene of Becca trying to seduce people during the pandemic? <laughs> I wouldn't need to because nature is returning back and I would just be like, stay inside. No, 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 no. Stay, stay inside. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's terrible out here. Everyone's dying. You know, it's better. <laughs> I think once Carol ran out of rosé, there'd be trouble. Mm. Oh, I, I, I get my rosé delivered. Yeah, I'm thinking about how people, would, if they would either go to the store, get it delivered, what Carol's doing with her mail before she opens it, <laughs> how she's disinfecting it. Totally, Miranda. Awesome. I, think, I, I think the whole pandemic would end and Beth would be like, there was a pandemic? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is everyone wearing a mask? This is so what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, she just expects nobody wants to let her in. <laughs> she would just, oh, what, like, carried on. on. She had no idea. Hi, Esme. Um, hi, hi, Esme. Hi, Esme. Uh, hurricane wouldn't, Diane wouldn't have happened if you guys hadn't, you and New York Theater Workshop hadn't merged together to do it because mm. that kind of storyline isn't something that's being picked up and elevated a lot. And... For me, it was my first off-Broadway experience ever at 46 years old and performing in New York for 25 years almost, you know, because the role of someone like me wasn't being done or cast, so, especially as a lead. I don't think there had been like, since like Peggy Shaw, like a real butchy kind of type. So, I mean, for me, it was a uh, revolutionary, although, ugh. I, I am a downtown performer. I've never done eight shows a week. <laughs> <laughs> From the beginning to the end, uh, the Women's Project and New York Theater Workshop uh, showed an unbelievable amount of support to this production of Hurricane Absolutely. Diane and this team. Um, it always felt like the story we were telling was incredibly important and essential. Um, and uh, so coming to work every day was just an enormous pleasure. And I would just say to your, um, to your audience and your subscribers that, uh, if you think stories are important, were important before, uh, what we're going through, they're going to be even more important after, uh, there's going to be so much to process and to reevaluate and to understand and who better to help guide us through that process than storytellers. Um, so while it might not feel essential at this moment in time, I can guarantee you it will be uh, sooner than you think. So uh, I hope uh, I hope you have that um, awareness somewhere in you so that you can continue to support the people who will be there for you uh, to help they just sort all of this out uh, down the line. I'm 47 years old, I've been doing this a long time, and I never was at a first circle where both artistic directors were so moved about the group of people that they put together. Uh, and it was my first time working for uh, both of those artistic directors, so I don't know if they always do that, if they're always uh, so heartfelt with their opening speeches, but um, it was incredible to see uh, that much um, love being brought into the room and shared with everybody through this expression of feeling that you know I had never seen before. And so it, the fact that they both did that and they both know about pop was, I don't know, I just feel like this is a, this is a team that is meant to be, <clears throat> they might be soulmates. <laughs> I look at the people on the screen in the little gallery view and I just am just so, awash with fear and hope and love for where their creative ferocity will go because you, the WP Theater and New York Theater Workshop are doing the, telling the stories that are hard to tell, that are funny and strange and inventive and political and imaginative. And those are the things that need support. And those are the things that won't be there if we don't support them during this time. And it's a question of what 
what kind of life do we want to return to? Do we want to return to a life where things are in full bloom? And so this, this, it, this is what you need to, uh, you know, to water so that when it's time you can, you can be back in a community, you can be using your head, you can be using your heart, you can be part of the, the life that you want, the reason you're in New York City, the, you know. So it's, it's just an amazingly brilliant, funny, impassioned, sincere, devoted community of theater artists um, who really deserve so much support. I feel like it is very, very rare to be, um, to work at a place that um, talks about inclusivity and um, openness and having those uh, core values. But the truth of the matter is that practicing them is much, much harder than just um, saying them or writing them on a piece of paper. And I really, really feel like New York Theater Workshop and, Women, and Women's Project have been able to actually practice what they preach in a way that very few institutions actually do. And I think that's one of the, I mean, Hurricane Dan was such an amazing experience for me. I had such a um, uh, engaging, um, wonderful, um, I, I don't know, it, I had a wonderful time on it and I felt like it was one of the it, but the amount of support that I got as an artist felt very unique. And I um, saw that not just for myself, but for really everyone on the team. And I appreciated that so much. And I do hope that, um, I do hope that our community can support you the way that you support your artists. For me, in a very personal way, when we speak of WP theater, which I greatly admire, what I think about is Lisa. And Lisa has made that theater what I, what I think is most important about being an artistic director, which is that it's personal, that it feels like it could be, it's nobody, it's not like any other place. You can never predict what you're gonna see there when you go there, that it's always an adventure. Your mind is always opened up when you attend and, um, that's from her. That comes from her and her <clears throat> capacious soul and her uh, wicked, wicked wit um, and big heart. So WP Theater is essential to the landscape of the theater community in New York. So I hope people will step up and make sure that it continues. They're essential not only in the work they're presenting, but the opportunities they're giving and the, and the people they're training. The lab, the lab, the lab, yeah. the lab is extraordinary. And the artists who have come through there got, found their seed legs, had their opportunity to work with Lee and incredible people who are you know, brought in to work with that. It, that is an extraordinary opportunity for artists to not only find their own voices, but find their community. It's incredible what you guys are doing. Don't think we haven't noticed, friend. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if anything, I feel like we all need each other so much right now. Um, and, yeah. you know, we, the artists, need to know that you guys are still there. And we support you so much in everything that you have to do to get to the other side so that we can be together again. And I just want to say that I really thank you for your leadership in these moments because um, you knowing that your lights are going to be on on the other side is the thing that keeps us able to get through this moment. And um, we're so appreciative of what this time must be like for you and to be um, leaders of organizations and arts organizations. And um, we need you. The world needs you. New York needs you. And um, Jim and Lisa, you are, um, you have our hearts. If there's anything we can do to help you get through this. Anything. Please ask. Yeah. Guys. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <sighs> well, I, I, you know, I'm just grateful to all of you and for making, like I said, I just, you know, 
the fact that you're willing to gather together and um, and just to see this group of people who made something so extraordinary that I was so proud to be part of, um, to see you guys all together, you know, means the world to me, particularly now when I just think we're, you know, we're coming to people with our hands out. And uh, when people are getting a lot of people coming to them with their hands out and um, the fact that you've um, chosen to take some time when you don't have time means the world. Um, and, you know, well, uh, I know, uh, you know, I know Jim and I are, are fighting like hell to make sure that, um, that there'll always be space for you guys. Um, cause, uh, you know, cause you deserve everything. Okay, uh, <laughs> heart attack. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and we'll see you on the other side when we can gather. Okay. Love you guys. So love happy you. to see you all. Love you all. I'm I so happy you. to see you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Women's Project. Thank you. Thank you. WP, WP. <laughs> <laughs>